Recently, I shot a time-lapse sequence and I decided uh, that I wanted to make a, a video clip out of it in DaVinci Resolve 17. Now, normally what you do is um, you go into the Media tab, tap on uh, the folder that contains your time-lapse files, and they should be numbered sequentially in that folder so that uh, DaVinci Resolve can then create a single file which contains all those individual files. So I, I tapped on the folder and instead of seeing that single file I saw a whole raft of individual files that I had shot as part of the time-lapse sequence. So that wasn't right. So I went on uh, on YouTube and uh, looked at some of the tutorials on doing time-lapse in DaVinci Resolve and none of them addressed this problem. So I dug a little deeper in Google, found a forum uh, where somebody suggested you go into the Media tab, go up to the three-dot menu that's at the top of the Media tab, and in there is a frame display mode um, choice. Tap on that and you'll see three choices in there. Auto, Individual, and Sequence. And uh, so when I opened it up, it's, it was uh, ticked on Auto. So I ticked on the, so I checked the box on Sequence. And lo and behold, when I tapped the folder, up came one single file, which is what we were going for. Now I was using Resolve, or yeah, Resolve 17, and I had recently upgraded from a previous version, and I had no problem in the previous version. But I suspect what happens is when you upgrade or update an existing version, that it will go into this auto mode rather than uh, into the sequence mode. So that's just a tip. Uh, I don't normally do uh, videos on or tutorials of any sort on DaVinci Resolve, but uh, I felt compelled to tell those who ran into the same problem as I did, but this is the way you get around it. So I hope that helped. If it did, you can leave a comment below. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked what you saw, and uh, Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Mm -hmm.